can't land right now, but somewhere there is Rio de Janeiro. Good morning from one of the most popular beaches in the world, Copacabana Beach in Rio de Janeiro. Super hot, even though it's uh, just, what, 8.30? So yeah, so Copacabana Beach. We don't have any real plan for today, so right now we'll just walk this beach, go maybe until the Ipanema Beach, another popular beach in Rio, and then just enjoy the sun. After one week of uh, cold weather in Latvia. Summer is coming to an end in Brazil. Do you feel it, Una? Yes, definitely. Yeah, it's probably plus 30 degrees at 8 a.m. in the morning. But the water is cold, right? The water is cold. Yeah, water seems cold, but now after walking for 20 minutes, you know, it's it's tempting to dip. Yeah. <laughs> Go for a dip. Yeah, but the water is not like in Thailand. Uh, it's cold. Maybe 10 minutes later. Unbelievable to be here in Rio, in Brazil. And it's actually, it was super easy to come, even now, during these times, like, it was probably the easiest uh, travel, easiest trip for us uh, in this, what, uh, last 11, 10 months. We have been to 13, 14 countries, and uh, coming to Brazil was almost as easy as traveling within the EU. Yeah. The immigration was super easy, they didn't ask, like, anything. Uh, KLM, our airline, they allowed us to upload all the necessary documents and so the so at the airport they didn't uh, check anything, they just uh, looked at your passport? So I think they saw in their system that we have already uploaded everything so they just let us pass. Yeah, and uh, so, so yeah, so the feeling was like you are traveling like two, three years ago when uh, all they ask is your passport and yeah, go and and then was the Brazil immigration and it was like super easy, like five seconds, look at your passport, look at your face and welcome to Brazil. And look what we found here. You have probably seen this statue somewhere, sometime. We are living at that end of the beach and now we just walked all the length of the Copacabana. And see this mountain? It is the famous Sugarloaf Mountain and we are living here, right under it. And you know, and you know what's the best part about this place is that uh, it feels, it feels like Rio de Janeiro, it feels like Rio de Janeiro I had imagined. Uh, the same uh, look, the same uh, feeling I had, I had imagined, and uh, yeah, and it's also a completely different feeling from what you have in, uh, for example, Playa del Carmen in Mexico, where most of people are lounging on the beach, sipping drinks, uh, listening to music, buying souvenirs and stuff like that. Here, most of people are either walking, running, playing some ball games. It's a completely different vibe. Than I love it. I love it. I also prefer beaches like this because I don't like just like lying around in the sun. Uh, I just like walking or running or doing some activity rather than yeah, yeah, yeah. And than just flying. Yeah, and it's cool. And yeah, and when uh, most of people around you are also running and walking, and uh, it feels very nice. We aren't rushing anywhere also because uh, we'll be spending in Rio at least a couple of four weeks, maybe three weeks, maybe even a month. So yeah, so we aren't rushing anything.
Wow, look at this. And then this is the Ipanema beach. Checking out the bushes of Rio de Janeiro on the first day. But you should be careful with that here. A little bit more careful than other places. Very, very active vibe here in Rio. So beautiful. You know what? I expected what we saw on the Copacabana beach, but uh, this Ipanema, wow, it just blows my mind. That the beach this beautiful can be in the city. And it's so peaceful. Look. Yeah, of course, it's a working day and it's a morning, but uh, still, I would expect it to be way more crowded. You probably won't feel it through this video, but uh, the tranquility here, peacefulness, it's unbelievable. Such a nice, nice place. We just spent half an hour just sitting there and looking at the Ipanema beach. Look what we found just around the corner. very steep walk to get out of our area and the neighborhood yeah the road from the area where we are staying where our host hostel is located is really steep oh wow look look at this mountain and this beauty uh, yeah the area where we are staying the area is it's a local area it's a local neighborhood you could also call it a favela but uh, locals don't like this name and I can easily understand why because, because it's just a normal neighborhood it's just an area where normal people are living normal they have normal houses let's go and have a closer look at this uh, mountain and also at this end of Copacabana, Copacabana beach it's been a couple of days already since we came to Rio de Janeiro and so far we are really loving it I'll show you more of the city in the upcoming videos. But now, yeah, the same, the same beach, but different area. Copacabana. The very end of Copacabana. Yeah, and, and look, look, from here you can see, like, these are the, the first, the high rises, and then is our neighborhood. And the area where we are staying. At. And the same thing you see all over Rio. There are like these, like, two type of neighborhoods. Two type of areas. And one street away from the beach, you get this. Yeah. 
Good morning from Rio, good afternoon. Uh, right now we are going on a short hike and, and at this moment we are only like five minutes walk away from our hostel. So yeah, so, so yeah, so being in Rio you can be this close to nature in the city. Oh, looks like the, looks like the first viewpoint, Copacabana down there. And right now, during the day, it looks more crowded. This is where we came from. Now, let's go and see what we can see from the other side of the same mountain. What animal is that? I don't know. Looks like a lemur, not a monkey, or a tiny monkey. It's some kind of primate. Some kind of, it's some kind of primate. Tiny monkey. And they're squealing. And we have arrived to the other side of our rock, of our cliff. Wow, nice. I think we see the famous sugar loaf. Or isn't it? Yeah, it's the sugar loaf. Look. Oh, look. Oh, man. Better not to fall off from here. Cable car. Going to the this rock. And then to this one. The famous sugar loaf mountain. As far as I know, you can go on a hike on this one, you can hike it, but to get on top of this one, on Sugarloaf, you need climbing gear and climbing skills, preferably. Nice beach. A lot of yacht. There's a city center like more to the right but this is where it starts the city center of rio i have heard that it's possible also to go down on this side but uh, they say that there is no like one trail you need to just find your own trail we won't be doing that now but we'll check out if there is some other viewpoint because there is oh, another trail going somewhere there and these guys by the way this huge fruit it's durian and it's freaking heavy you don't want it to fall on your head. It's like, it can be like 10, 15 kilos. Remember the one we found? Jackfruit, not ja durian. Sorry, yeah. It's jackfruit. It's jackfruit. And it can be uh, super heavy. It's like 15, 20 kilos of fruit. Nope, we couldn't find any other trail. Mm, there is a fence and uh, apparently you can't go any further in that direction. Yeah, but in this beautiful place, in this place, I think it's a great place to finish this video. 
uh, our first video from Rio de Janeiro, our first video from Brazil, and uh, the video about our first impressions of Rio de Janeiro. And our impressions are great. This city is really awesome. It's the kind of city that we really like. It's big, it's modern. There is also nature, lots of nature, and it's easy to get into the nature. And also the overall vibe, it's, it's, it's just great. It's, it's so, so good, it's so, so special. Um, we have been in places where people do lots of sports. For example, in uh, Koh Tao Island in uh, Thailand, there it seems like every person is uh, doing diving, scuba diving, free diving. Uh, but uh, it's completely too different to have this kind of vibe, this kind of active lifestyle vibe in a big city. Rio de Janeiro is the first city where we have experienced that and uh, that's another reason to love this city. Yeah, but so that's it for today. That's it for this uh, video. See you soon. Most likely still from Rio.